Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. This was the biggest Sephora haul I have ever done. I have been shopping the Sephora VIB sale for years and I always buy quite a bit, especially since becoming a YouTuber. I definitely spend more than I used to, but this year was on a whole new level. I purchased way more than I probably should have, but, and it is a very important but, it is part of my job to test out products for you, my viewers, and give you my opinions and help you make your own better spending decisions. And I also like to purchase a lot of high-end products in order to compare them to some drugstore products I might find that could be possible dupes for those of you who might not be able to or simply don't want to spend money on higher-end makeup. So there's lots of reasons why I purchased the things that I did. So yeah, I definitely spent more than I have in past years. Years. I really haven't added everything up, but I'm sure some of you will do that when you look down below in the description box and see everything that I got. I am a VIB Rouge tier member, so I was able to get 20% off of all of this. I did already demonstrate a few of the products that I purchased when the sale first started in my recent Trying Hot New Makeup Releases video, which I will link for you down below in the description box. I made several trips to Sephora. In fact, I am going back later today to buy three more things, I think. I used 2,500 of my points to purchase a $100 gift card, which I will then take with me to Sephora to purchase the Pat McGrath Holiday Palette, this one right here, as well as the Sol de Janeiro Bomb Dia Bright Body Cream with Vitamin C. I'm looking at my little online order here. It's actually my buy online, pick up in store order. A lot of people I don't think know that you can redeem 2,500 Sephora Beauty Insider points for a $100 gift card. I think every time you check out, it does ask if you would like to redeem 500 points to get $10 off, but I never do that. I always wait until I've accumulated 2,500, and then I wait until, I think they come out every Tuesday and Thursday morning around 9 a.m. my time, Pacific time. I'm usually able to go to the Rewards Bazaar and redeem 2,500 points for that $100 gift card. There are two caveats to that gift card though. One is you have to spend it all at once. You can't make multiple purchases with it. And two, you can't return anything. So you have to make sure that what you're purchasing with that gift card is something you know you're going to keep. So I'm gonna dive into my newest order that arrived yesterday. In this order, I received the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau Natural Perfection Foundation. This has an SPF of 20. I purchased it in the shade 03 Natural. I did mention that I was going to purchase this when I posted my um, cart video, when I posted what's in my Sephora VIB sale cart. This is one of the items that I did end up purchasing. I am wearing it today. I absolutely love this foundation. It has amazing reviews for a reason. This shade is one of the most perfect matches I've ever gotten to my skin. It went on so beautifully. The coverage is just divine. I don't know any other way to describe it. It is like putting on flawless skin. It looks so natural. I personally have two small issues with it. They may be a bigger deal to some of you, but this is Guerlain and it does have a fragrance. It's not overpowering in my opinion, but I know that that could be bothersome to a lot of people. The other thing is it's not the best for oily skin. If you have drier skin, this is most likely going to be incredible on you. But for me, I do feel like I am getting a little bit shinier than usual. I'm going to have to try it again with an oil controlling primer, probably the Hourglass Veil, because I do find that that primer is the best for oil control. And then I will update you. But for now, I don't hate the way it looks. I still think it looks beautiful. It's just I'm a little bit shinier than I am with my usual foundations. What truly excited me the most was how I managed to get such an incredible color match online. Okay, next up is something that I did have in my cart, but I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it in my cart or take it out, but I went ahead and got it because so many of you in the comments of my What's in My Cart video said that you really loved it. This is the Hourglass Veil Powder Brush. I have not used it yet. This is what it looks like. 
People were telling me in the comments that they love it for blush, for bronzer, for powder, just that it is extremely multi-use, that it's super soft, and they do not regret, they did not regret purchasing it. So hopefully I won't regret purchasing it. I regret not opening it before I started this video. Okay, I managed to open it. I will be using this tomorrow when I do my makeup. And then also in this order was this Tom Ford Lost Cherry gift set. I have smelled Lost Cherry quite a few times when I've been at Sephora or Nordstrom. However, I've only ever sprayed it on one of those little cards. I never sprayed it on myself. And to be honest with you, when I sprayed it on the card, I wasn't in love with it. I just always talked myself out of it. I would smell the card and think, hmm, it's nice. I'm not spending $300 on it, but it's nice. However, when I was at Sephora the other day, shopping the sale, I decided to finally spray it on my skin and see how I liked it. And lo and behold, several hours later, I was in love. The dry down on this was beautiful. It was so different than anything else I own. I just knew I had to have it. So I was going to place the order. I was going to do another buy online, pick up in store order. However, when I went on the Sephora website, I saw that they had this gift set and it was online only. I am traveling to Mexico next month, and I love that this comes with a 1.7 ounce atomizer spray. And this is perfect for travel. It has this magnetized lid, it's so luxe. This set actually has a value of $443, but the set is $368, and then I also got my 20% off. So I'm really excited to finally have the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So those are a few of the things I ordered online. Actually, before the event began, and I honestly don't know why I didn't wait two days until I could get a discount, but for some reason, I went ahead and ordered early the new releases from Lawless. I picked up the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss Trio. I had heard really good things about this gloss, that it is the best plumper on the market. I have yet to try it on its own. I have used one of them and applied it over a lipstick, and I did feel a little bit of a tingle. I honestly did feel like my lips got a little bit bigger. I am going to be testing these out further, obviously, and let you know my thoughts, most likely in my November monthly Beauty Favorites and Fails video. And I also picked up the new The Glam One palette. I adore these little palettes from Lawless. The formula is fantastic. The shadows are really creamy and blendable and buttery feeling. And this color palette just spoke to me. I felt like I had to have it. And it's only $25. Okay, going back to the products I used in the testing hot new makeup, if you want to see these demonstrated, please check out that video. I use one of the five eyeshadow palettes I purchase? Well, maybe today after I purchase the Pat McGrath, that'll be five. Regardless, in that video, I tested out the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. This palette is beautiful. And a little follow-up for you. I did mention in that tutorial that I often have issues with purpley or plummy or burgundy-based eyeshadows. And I did not have an issue with any of the shadows in this palette as far as irritating my eyes. I should clarify for those of you who may be watching me for the first time, I do often have a bad reaction to those tones that I just mentioned, specifically from Anastasia Beverly Hills, usually, like from the Modern Renaissance palette, and then there was another palette, um, the uh, new Primrose palette that I also had a sensitivity to, and in that video, uh, in this video where I tested out this palette, I mentioned that I didn't realize how much of a red undertone these brown shades had, and I was a little bit concerned, but I had no reaction is what I'm trying to say. So I love this palette. I also tested out the lipstick and lip liner from Makeup by Mario that I purchased. I forgot to bring the lipstick back in here, but I will put a swatch up on the screen. And I also purchased one of Makeup by Mario's new lip pencils, which I also use in that video. This is the shade Hue. 
And on my lips right now, I'm wearing a lipstick from Natasha Denona that I purchased. This is 21P Sava. I mentioned in my wish list video or my what's in my cart video that I really wanted to recreate this makeup look done by one of my favorite makeup artists, Nikki Makeup. So I purchased everything she used, well, not everything, a lot of the items that she used in the tutorial. One being the retro palette. So let's take a look. Ooh. Ooh. I am a little bit concerned with this palette as well because of all of the plummy burgundy tones in it, but I couldn't help myself. I'm hoping that I won't have any issues with it like I don't with the Huda Beauty. So I'm hoping and praying that this works for me because I really, really want to recreate that makeup look. I think it's so beautiful. I have heard so many good things about this palette. Everyone I know who has it loves it. So I just, I had to, right? I mean, I, I just, I had to. And then this was the lipstick that was used. I already have the lip liner that was used. I think it's called um, Ilona. And then I decided to get the blush that she used in the tutorial, which is the Natasha Denona Puff Paint. And this is the shade Bloom. If I remember correctly, these have mixed reviews on Sephora's website, but I guess I will find out for myself. I also purchased some Fenty glosses that I used in that video demo of testing hot new makeup. I used one of the shades from this Glossy Posse Fantasy set. I used this shade right here. I have not tried the others just yet, but I will. And let me know in the comments if you would like to see a try-on of any of these products. There is a very good chance that I will do the recreation of that Natasha Denona look for a video and post it. So I'm kind of not really sure what direction to go with trying all of this stuff. So if you have any ideas for me, if you wanna see the Lawless palette used in a tutorial, or if you just wanna see a follow-up video on everything, let me know in those comments. And I'm not done with Fenty glosses just yet. I also purchased something else that was on my wish list, which is the Resting Peach Face Cheeks Out Cream Blush and Gloss Balm Cream. So only two lipsticks, one lip liner, lots of glosses, lots of palettes, because I did also purchase Two more Natasha Denona palettes, both the light and dark glam face palettes. I've already got my fingerprints all over it. So this is the light palette, and then this is the dark. The dark palette is the one I'm wearing today. It comes with, well, both palettes come with a blush, a highlighter, and five eyeshadows that are labeled. They're labeled transition, smoke, inner corner. I do not follow those. I just kind of put them where I want to. Even though I have light skin, I decided to purchase both palettes, you know, for research purposes. And I've discovered that I can wear the dark palette just as easily as I can wear the light. One thing I want to note about the blushes in both palettes is that they're very light, at least mine are. It's almost like they have this coating on them, like a sort of rough texture coating that you have to get rid of before you can get a lot of pigment from them. I've tried applying them with both a brush and my fingers. They're a little patchy with my fingers. I find they go on better with a brush, but I have to tell you that this dark shade, I have it on now, and it took quite a bit of going back in and applying it and back in and applying it to get this intensity. So I'm interested to hear what other people's thoughts are on this, especially if you have darker skin and you've tried the dark palette. Let me know if you have issues with the blush, if it's just me, and I'd just love to know your thoughts. I think as far as the shadows and highlight go in both palettes, fantastic. And even having to build up the blush, I would still recommend these palettes. And I do like the little plastic cover. Oh, one more thing. This brown, the smoke shade in the dark palette makes an amazing liner, especially if you use it wet and you want that sort of liquid liner effect. This brown is perfection. I know these palettes went in and out of stock during the sale. Well, actually I'm trying to post this video while the VIB sale is still going on, but I think I'm going to be having it up towards the end of the sale. But my point is that 
If it's out of stock, it might go back in stock. So make sure if you want it that you are signed up for email notifications. Although I know a lot of other YouTubers, content creators post on their Instagram stories and on their YouTube stories when these come back in stock. So let's see how many palettes that is. One, two, three, four, five, and the Pat McGrath will be six. Okay, moving on. Just a few more things to show you, which I can't believe. I thought this video was going to be like a half an hour long. I felt like I bought so much. Well, next up is the Olaplex number four Blonde Enhancer Toning Shampoo. I have not tried this yet because I bought it on the Friday before I got my hair done. I was getting my hair done on Monday, just a couple of days ago. So I had no opportunity to use this toning shampoo. So of course I'm going to try it the next time. I feel my hair needs a little bit of toning, which is usually about once every week to 10 days. I'll let you know how I feel about this. So far I've heard all good things. And many of you already know how much I love all of my other Olaplex products. I honestly can't believe this is the last thing. Well, if I have time, I will add in at least a photo of the um, Pat McGrath palette. And I might pick up one more lip pencil when I go to Sephora this afternoon. Katie Jane Hughes, who is another incredible makeup artist that I follow, she loves this Makeup Forever Artist Lip Liner in Endless Cacao. She uses it in a lot of her tutorials. So I'm thinking it's time for me to try it out. But the final product I have right here right now is this Dazzle Stick from KVD. This is the shade Hail Surge. This product went viral on TikTok about a month or two ago, and it has been so difficult to find. The Sephora I went to was out of almost all of the shades. I saw one kind of on its side. If I looked over the top of the gondola, I could see one, which was this one, resting you know, not standing up, just down. And I kind of dug it out to see what shade it was. And it was one, one of this color called Hail Surge. This is a cream eyeshadow or a cream eyeshadow topper. Look at how beautiful this is. I cannot wait to use this and see if the hype is real. I honestly just feel so lucky that I was able to get one. I'm back from Sephora. I got the Pat McGrath palette and the Makeup Forever pencil. I did not get the Sol de Janeiro cream because I could not use that $100 gift card in conjunction with the 20% off. So I decided to just get these two things with a discount and then order once the sale is over or just whatever without the discount. Um, or maybe once I figure out other things I want to get with the $100, $100 gift card, then I will buy the Sol de Janeiro cream. So anyway, got the palette. This is the lip liner with the Mario lipstick in Kate with a little bit of Sierra in the center. All right, everyone, that is it. That is my biggest Sephora VIB sale haul ever. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. I try to upload new content at least two to three times per week. And you can also find more content from me on Instagram and TikTok under the same username, Risa Does Makeup. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.